Hello everyone, I am Dr. Amiranjan Pandit and in this video I am going to explain how to draw the bending moment diagram for a propped cantilever beam uh, with a uniformly bearing load and when the highest intensity is at the fixed end bearing to zero at the free end and propped cantilever as you can uh, know that there is will be a simply supported either a hinge support or roller support will be at the free end in a propped cantilever beam. So, uh, before going into deep, I must tell you what are the different steps, how to calculate the bending moment diagram. So, to analyze the our propped cantilever beam, uh, I have explained, I am going to explain you about the different steps. First, remove the propped cantilever at the free end and determine the downward deflection of the free end of the cantilever beam due to the UVL. Next, determine the upper deflection due to the propped assuming there is no uvl next we will equate both of the deflection the downward deflection due to the uvl equal to the upper direction due to the point load at the free end so as we know the formula mx equal to ei d square y by dx square where mx is the moment about a section x so this is my diagram propped cantilever beam span length l uh, this is the intensity load w and uh, r is my propped reaction so x is a distance where i am going to calculate the moment then i am going to implement in the equation number one so how to calculate the moment about the reason x so first i have to calculate the ordinate the red line you can see i have to find out the ordinate of that line so ordinate of that line can be calculated by similarity of triangle if i will apply so i can say that w1 divided by that y1 suppose is equal to l by x so my y1 will be wx by l this is i calculated using similarity of triangle now area under the triangle is my force that is half into base into height in the region x the ordinate x so x is the base and height is the wx by l so to calculate the moment force into the perpendicular distance your x by 3 is the distance of the centroid so i am getting moment about x is wx cube by 6l now now, now putting this value in equation 1 i am getting the expression wx cube by 6l is equal to ei d square by dx square using the cross multiplication ei will be coming to the 6l so my equation become wx cube divided by 6l ei now integrating both the side however the integration will be carried out from 0 to l because the span length varies from 0 to l so right hand side becomes dy by dx now w into x to the power cube the integration if i will do it will be coming x to the x to the power 4 by 4 so at the denominator 6 into 4 will be 24 so the term is wx fourth by wl ei plus c1 is equal to dy by dx so to find out the value of c1 the constant i am going to apply the boundary condition so at the fixed end my slope the dy by dx is 0 so i am going to apply this so i will calculate the value of c1 is a wl cube by 24 ei next i am integrate in inserting the value of c1 in equation 3 so i am getting the equation wx4 by 24 l ei minus wl cube by 24 ei is equal to dy by dx again to integrate we will again if we will integrate this equation 5 we will get the deflection so integrating both the side a 0 to l within the limit 0 to l so wx4 by 24 l ei dx minus 0 to l wl cube by 24 ei dx and the right hand side dy by dx so dy by dx integration it is coming y now here w x to the 4 will be coming x to the 5 by 5 so 24 into 5 will be my 120 and denominator is l into e into y minus wl cube by 24 ei is a constant so integration of dx will give you x plus the c2 is equal to so why so now i am applying the upper limit and lower limit so in place of x if i am going to put the l so the equation 7 will be wl5 by 120 l into ei where the denominator l cancel out with the numerator l so i am getting the expression wl4 by 120 ei minus wl4 by 24 ei plus c2 equal to y again i have another boundary condition i will put to calculate the c2 value which is a constant so at y is equal to 0 x is equal to l sorry at x is equal to l y is 0 it means the deflection will be 0 at the fixed end so putting that value 
in equation 8 i am getting the c2 value is equal to wl4 by 30 ei now again i am implementing the value of c2 in equation number 7 i am getting the expression wx5 by 120 lei minus wl to the power qx divided by 24 ei plus wl4 by 30 ei is equal to y now actually i have to find out the deflection at the free end where x is equal to 0 so if i am putting the value of x i am getting y is equal to w l4 by 30 ei this is the deflection of the cantilever beam cantilever beam downward deflection due to the uvl now the upper deflection we have already known that is rlq by 3 ei this is due to the deflection of the cantilever beam due to the point load now we are going to equate this to equation to find out the reaction so wl4 by 30 ei is equal to rlq by 3 ei ei i cancel out in equation our reaction the prop reaction is wl by 10 so the prop reaction we have calculated next i will going to calculate the bending moment diagram for bending moment diagram at the fixed end for the fixed end force means the reaction wl by 10 into l minus half into base into height the total force into l by 3 is the central central distance it is coming wl square by 15 now let maximum bending moment will occur at a distance x which we don't know but where there is maximum bending moment shear force value is zero so we are equating shear force equal to zero at the region x so within the region x wl by 10 is the upward force and half into x into wx by l is the downward force so using this equation and equating to zero i am getting x is equal to l by root over of 5 where it is expected to have zero shear force and maximum bending moment so again i am implementing this value x equal to l by root 5 to determine the maximum bending moment so wl by 10 into this moment sorry this distance l divided by root 5 minus half l by root over 5 next w into l by root over 5 divided by l into l by root 5 into 3 is equal to wl square by 30 so this is my moment at l x equal to l by root 5 now this is how it looks like at a distance of x i am getting wl square by 30 and at the fixed end it is wl square by 15. So I, I hope you people like this video thank you for watching